Hi everybody, it's Julie and I have a quick tutorial on how I make these adorable kites. Um, let me show you one on a finished project. So, I have this stamp that says I love spring, I love flowers, I love flying kites. So, I needed a kite to go with it. So, I'm going to show you how to make the kite. And it's pretty simple. It can be another way to use up some scraps. What I have is I have four little um, squares. They're about two inch by three inch. And I'm really going to just wing it. Um, I'm going to use this corner up here and just cut. You can trace a kite if you like. Um, so there. So I have a kite shape out of four. I'm going to move this to the side because I want it to get mixed in with my um, my actual kite pieces. So then I'm going to go down the center and then I'm going to cut right up along with that line. I'm going to leave these guys over here. This is not rocket science um, because it actually looks cooler if you have a little white space. Okay, so now you're going to take one of each piece. So this one And then might put that one there, put that one there. So we've got four of them. And of course you can, oh, and then if this happens, you know what, just trim it. A little bit fat here, just trim it. It's no big deal. Okay, I think we'll go with that, that. So you're actually able to make four kites out of this um, first batch here. And, and it's okay if you um, get making it and you end up with there we go so and then you can look at them and go hmm I don't know if I like and you can switch things around um, so anyway I like that and the next thing I need is a piece of background paper I'm gonna use white and we're just gonna go ahead and glue down I'm using Aileen's Tacky Glue, so I can move it around a little bit if I need to. And now here I'm making a kite. I have done this with hearts, um, you know, cut out hearts and then put three or four hearts on top of each other and cut out the heart shape. I have done it with a star. Um, it's mosaic puzzle piecing and um, it works out really cool so and it makes a great if you're making an album about something and you want something to carry through the heart worked out really good in an album that I made that was about myself and um, I just I chose the papers that I was using in the album and then I had a variety um, going through there. Now the other thing that you're going to want to do is, okay that we can use for a tail, is you're going to want a kite string. Okay and so to do that what I do is I after I have raffia is what I'm using today um, I just pull back this bottom corner 
put the raffia under there. Just add a little bit more glue. Make sure the raffia is in the glue. Okay. And close it up. And that is your kite string like you would be um, the one that actually guides the kite. Now, if you've ever flown a kite, you know that it's very important for the kite to have a tail. And um, so that's the next part we're going to do. So now I'm just cutting around the shape. of the kite and there we have our kite and now we're going to add a tail so I pulled the tail over here somewhere I lost I lost my tail so we'll grab another um, I have a bunch of raffia left over here from a project that I was doing okay that's going to be enough tail. And it's okay if it's a little longer. So now the tail, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to come down here to the bottom. I should have done this sooner. And pull it up. Put your tail in. Add some glue. There's probably an easier way to do this. But this is how I do it. Um... So now we have our tail string and I have these over here, these little tiny pieces from when I was trimming things and um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and cut about, about a half an inch, two pieces of each one. Okay about a half an inch and I'm going to want four bows on my tail and what I found the fastest easiest way to do this was to um, to just cut out two pieces and lay one on top of the other on either side of the, the tail so let's move our kites over. So of course you could have, you know, be doing this in assembly line like I was starting to, um, but I don't want this video to be forever. So next we'll just go and lay, and it's okay that they're torn because, you know, you see pictures of a kite and the tails are usually torn. Okay, one of each one the bottom, I'm going to face them up. Whoops. I'll just go over here. Okay. And then, we'll put a dot of glue. <laughs> the air from the glue knocked. <laughs> yeah. You know how it is. You're on film, so they have to they have to act up. Now, if you know that you're you know right away what you're going to put this on. If you want all color, then you could turn them so that they're all color. I liked um, you know that I've done a few of these, and I like when they. Um, I need something. I'm going to use my little cricket thing push these down. You could use a skewer, a toothpick, whatever you got hanging around. Push these down. Okay, we'll come back. And I think the top one was the pink one. Blue. Or orange and green. Okay, so now I'm just going to squeeze them down. I'm going to make a mess. But 
it works. There you go. So there you have your kite with a tail. It just takes a few minutes, um, even less if you're not talking about it, and you can go from scraps to a kite to a kite with a tail to a really cute embellishment. So, this is Julie Julie. If you enjoyed this video, if you think you might try it, I would love to hear about it. Please comment and like the video and subscribe for more, um, more ideas of um, things to do with your scraps, albums to make, and fun stuff to do. Find something to celebrate every day. Bye-bye.